Nora, I'm so honored to co-pilot today's edition of Drew's <laughs> News, where we serve the stories. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, Nora, please kick us off. Okay, on it. All right. Time Magazine just announced their Kid of the Year. This is new cover. And the honor goes to Gitangeli Rao of Lone Tree, California. She's 15, already invented a device that can detect lead contamination in water, coded an app that uses artificial intelligence to flag cyber bullies, and apparently you can read all about it in Time Magazine. She said, you just need to be passionate about one thing and try and solve it. And I was not doing anything near that cool when I was 15, but were you? <laughs> I was, no, I was kind of a burner at 15, but I, I, at, by 19, I started my own business, Flower Film. So, you know, I wasn't saving the world, but I was trying to make joy you, in it. You were more precocious than the rest of us. I was. I was born with like a martini and like, let's do this. You know, I already feel 60 and 70 years old now, but it's good to get a jump start. But what she did is so profound. And Angelina Jolie did the interview, which is really exciting yeah. to read. Okay. Mm -hmm. In huge news for the movie business, the place that I turned to to have a very stable job and career, the Wall Street Journal reports that Warner Brothers will release all their 2021 movies in theaters, but more importantly, on HBO Max simultaneously. They're kicking it off with Wonder Woman 1984 on Christmas Day, and they've got 17 large ticket item movies. Lin-Manuel -Man Miranda's In the Heights, The Star-Studded Dune, Space Jam 2 with uh, LeBron, and Matrix 4. And the movies will spend a month on HBO Max, and they'll be in theaters, possibly. I think it's going to be a let's see what happens with COVID and movie openings. But I think what this means is not only is this just jaw-dropping bombshell Hollywood news, uh, but I think it's now nice to know we can rest for 2021. This is what will be happening because this whole yeah. keep pushing movies thing and theaters and, you know, the business, it was just too crazy and too much. They've made a decision. This is going to change the landscape for the year. I do have hope for theaters, um, you know, in the future, but I'm glad that they made such a big, bold call for right now. You're so right. It's huge. You know, our company, Paramount Plus, is doing the same kind of thing in 2021. But I have to say, I feel a little sad. I miss the movie theaters. I'm sort of nostalgic about it. I mean, where was the place you went when you were 15 or 16 on your first date? Maybe yeah. had your first makeout. You know, I mean, the theaters were like the place to go. So I do hope once everybody gets vaccinated, they'll be back in well, business. And, and Paramount has CBS All Access to turn to. They already have a really successful platform. Um, so I'm interested to see what their move will be. Okay, and finally, in shoe news, um, the new Air Jordans actually just launched, and they are automatic lacing, as in you have an app on your phone, and they will do the lacing for your preset satisfactory mode. And, I mean, this is just so crazy. Here we are. This is the future. It's very Marty McFly. And um, in shoe news, we have one last headline for the road, and it's one I'm really proud of because we're teaming up with Payless for a special give back this holiday. Um, they're going to donate 6,000 pairs of shoes, and um, we'll roll into the clip. But before we do, Nora, I just want to say... It has been an honor and a realized dream of a lifetime to co-anchor some news, and I would love to do this anytime, anywhere with you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you. Love Drew's news.